My name is Dennis Jackson. I am the master roaster and green coffee buyer as well as uh, coffee director for Boat Trust Coffee Roasters. I recently was asked by the Trade Commissioner of Ecuador to go to Ecuador and sample some of their coffees to buy coffee as a direct trade. Met several farmers and uh, tasted several coffees and we ended up with one farmer that I really enjoyed. Out of the 40 coffees, uh, the farm that we went with placed in the top 10. And the fact that they are so new, uh, young, it was hard to believe that this was their first full production crop. The farm is in the middle of the earth, basically, about 20 kilometers away from the exact zero latitude. The farm's name is Finca Campo Alegre, which means cheerful farm. Right now it's very small. It's run by one family, and they have Pacamara, a very unique coffee to Ecuador. Pacamara is a cross between the Pacas uh, plant and the Maragogi. It reminds me of several different coffees rolled into one, so it's very multi-layered. You, you have some savory flavors in the Pacamara. This Pacamara has very, very nice acidity, but it also carries a nuttiness, which isn't really typical and I think that nuttiness gives it an extra layer. We develop our profiles based on many different aspects of the coffee, the elevation, the variety. This particular variety is a little bit larger, so it reacts different in the roaster. When Boat Trust first began, one of our missions or goals was to, to go direct trade so that we develop sustainable relationships and sustainable practices. For somebody like us to, to get a direct trade coffee is it, pretty substantial. And developing this relationship from the ground up, literally, it meant a lot to go direct trade with this coffee. And because of this direct trade, it's opened up other routes. Uh, we'll be going into Mexico, Costa Rica, and Panama this year alone. And it, you know, we're all very excited at Boat Trust to be able to do this at this age. By going to origin and understanding what's happening there and working with a specific family or farm, we learn a little bit more about the roasting process. We, we learn how to better focus on that process and roast the best possible coffee we can.